Okay, tell me what your name is and your age and your year in school. Um, my name is Shelby Gale Raisler. I'm a 17 year old and I'm a senior at Burnett High School. A senior this year, very good. Yes. How long have you been in Burnett? Um, since April 23rd, 2012. And what brought you to Burnett? Um, my family exposed to drugs. Okay, and by your family, is it a, a single member of your family, more than one member? Um, my mom, her boyfriend, me, and my mom's boyfriend's daughter. Okay, before we get to you real quick, what kind of drugs was it? Um, my mom was smoking methamphetamines, and me and my, I guess you can call her stepsister, were doing smoking pot, popping Xanaxes, popping pain pills, you name it, we did it. And how old were you when you first got involved in that yourself? Fourteen. Fourteen, and how did that happen? Um, I just was hanging out with the wrong people. And being around those people uh, maybe lowered the barrier to entry for mm -hmm. you? Okay. And how about your mom? How, how long has your mom been um, dealing with that addiction? Um, since Thanksgiving of 2011. Thanksgiving of 2011. That's when she first got involved with yes. methamphetamines. Uh, did she do it in front of you? Um, no, but I actually witnessed her doing it a couple months later. You did, did you know she was doing it before you witnessed no. it? No. So she hit it very yes. well. Yes. Um, when you found out or when you saw her doing it, what was your first reaction? I was terrified. I told her, why would you do this? You know, this what's going to happen is you're, you're going to lose me and my brother and everybody. You're going to lose everything. And she just told me that I didn't know anything and that I was too young. To you know. were 15 at the time, yes. is that right? Um, when, when you first had this conversation with your mom, had her physical appearance changed at all? Um... Not really. It really didn't start getting bad and for like three or four months, and then I started noticing changes. Okay, what kind of changes did you notice? Um, she started her hair. She just didn't look right. Like, she just, her skin got like kind of palish. She looked older. Her teeth started looking yellowy. Well, did you she, immediately recognize those as symptoms of methamphetamine use? Um, yes, after I figured out she was doing them, yes. And by the time you recognized these symptoms, um, were you starting to experiment a little bit with pot and pills? Um, yes, actually I was. Was it easier for you to do that knowing that your mom was having trouble with drugs? Um, I would say yes because I did it so I wouldn't feel like the pain because my mom, like, she didn't care. She just stopped doing everything for us, and so my escape was to do those things. Okay. How about your sister, your stepsister? How was she impacted? She was raised on it, and it just got worse and worse. As The longer my mom did it, the longer me and my stepsister did it. Talk a little bit about Shelby um, after you recognize that your mom's got a problem, how that impacted your relationship with your mom. It totally changed. I lost my respect for her. We fought every day. I wouldn't see her for two or three days. Didn't know where she was, if she was alive or if she was dead or if she was on the side of the road or what happened to her. I just, we just lost connection. At the very beginning when she would disappear, were you concerned for her safety? Yes, I really was. Just, I told her and I was, I just said, you know, things are going to happen, and she would say, no, don't worry about it, don't worry about it, just figure yourself out. And So you were kind of left to raise yourself? Yes. And how long did this go on before you came? Um, seven months before I moved to Burnet. You were responsible for feeding yourself? Yep. I didn't know when I was going to eat. I didn't know when I was going to go to school. I ended up dropping out. I was a sophomore at the time. My brother lost he lost relationship with me for a while. It just went downhill from everywhere and everything. Were you was it fair to say you were angry about the situation? I was very angry. And how did that manifest itself? How did you kind of reflect that anger? Smoking pot, fighting with my mom, fighting with my brother, trying to leave for a few days just to be away from everybody, just to get away from all of it because I didn't want to deal with it. Lead me through a typical day and week in your life at that time while your mom is uh, caught in the trap of her addiction, um, you're farther, falling further and further away from her, um, you're dealing with your own issues with the pot and the pills, and is it depression you think? Yeah. As well? 
So kind of walk me through a day and then a week okay. in your life at that time. So a day back then, I would sleep until about 2 or 3 in the afternoon, wake up, go see if my sister was, my stepsister was up. We would smoke a joint or a blunt, figure out where my mom was, see if we have any food, or we'd go to my grandma's house to see if she had any food. Um, then we just chill and do things we weren't supposed to, smoke another blunt. Um, then I would use my mom's car to go get food for McDonald's. I ate McDonald's a lot. And and then we partied from 6 p.m. till um, sun went down, sun came up. So Pretty much every day. Every day, every day. And there would be times where we would have a party at my house and then my mom and her boyfriend would argue and it would just, it just tore me and my mom apart every time I saw that because he would physically abuse her because he was so addicted to that stuff and so was she and they weren't in the right state of mind and it just got worse and it got worse and it got worse until CPS got involved and the cops got involved, my house got raided and then I moved down here. Your mom is still caught in this addiction? Yes. Do you, do you talk to her at all? Um, I do, not on a regular basis. She told me happy birthday yesterday. Um, the last, I saw her twice since April 2012. What do you feel like you're missing out on right now in terms of your relationship with your mom? Having a good one with my mom. Yeah, you know, all the kids, some kids have good families and good parents and they're like well why don't you live with your aunt why do you live with your aunt and uncle why don't you live with your mom and you know I just want I just wish that it was different and that we would have never got involved with this kind of stuff since you've been here uh, you've been living with your aunt mm -hmm. um, how has your life changed since you got away from that situation um, I'm not a dropout anymore I'm a senior thank goodness I make straight A's and it's just, I did a total flip, as somebody would say, if you knew me before I moved to Vernon. And you work at a preschool? Yes, I do. Right? Hill Country Fellowship Christian Academy. I've worked there for a year and a half now, and I just love it. Has faith played any role in yes, the things you're doing? Yes, yes. God has put some good people in my life. I'm so glad to hear that. If your mom reached out to you now and said, I want us to start over. Would you be willing to do that? Yes and no. Because it's just like my trust. I don't trust her. And I really don't respect her just because of everything she's put me through. But deep down in my heart, I would really want to because I would want that relationship with my mom. Like everybody would want. Do you think she has recognized the change in your life? Yes and no. She she knows that I'm happy, but she doesn't want me to be with my aunt and my uncle. Why do you think that is? Um, I'm not sure. I mean, my mom and my aunt and uncle had problems before. And just the way my mom is, she's selfish. I mean, I am too. Everybody is. But they just don't want that kind of people in our life. And so... So my mom and my aunt and my uncle always had a love-hate relationship, basically. Does a lot of that have to do with the drug use, do you think? Or do those well, recently, like yeah, now, but before then, it was just because she was selfish and didn't care about anything but her. Do you remember what your mom was like before she got addicted to drugs? Yeah, she was an awesome mom. She wouldn't let me... She was a good, strict mom, you know. She made me do the right choices, made me go to school every day. And just, she was awesome. And that's the mom you want to remember. Yeah, and I'll try to tell her that. And she's like, well, I am that mom. And I'm like, no, you're not. And she doesn't recognize it. If somebody you knew was in a similar situation, 14, 15, 16 years old, and somebody in their family had gotten involved with drugs, what advice would you give them? to get away, to stop it however you can.
because I would not wish it on my worst enemy. Is there anything you would have done differently knowing that your mom had gotten involved with drugs before you had? I would have reached out to somebody to help her before it got too late. Somebody must have for CPS to get involved. Did you ever know who that was? My aunt and my uncle, actually. My brother reached out to them down here, and then they came up there and they got involved. You're talking now to people who may know somebody who's dealing with drugs, even if it's not in their own house. What advice would you give them? To help them, either any way you can, because it's it's just horrible. You don't know what that person's going through, and it could be their last day on earth, or you know, you never know. They can OD or something, or anything. There are also young people in homes where drugs are are being used who didn't experience the turnaround you did. Do you know kids who are still in those situations? What are their lives like? I actually have a best friend that just graduated high school, and she is a pot smoker, and she's just smoking her life away. I mean... Would it be different if somebody were involved in her life the way your aunt and uncle were in yours? Yes. It really would. Have you found ways to help people with your story? Yes. Already. Um, what kinds of ways have you been able to help? Um, I actually had a friend here in Burnett that was trying experimenting with drugs, and I told her my story. And from that day, she stopped doing everything. That's awesome. Yes. Would you encourage other people who have experienced similar, both heartaches? and successes and maybe reasons to celebrate and even reasons to be sad to share their stories Yes, as well. I recommend it 100% to share your story, regardless if it was good or bad. Did you have people share their stories with you? Yes, I actually did. Did they impact you in some way? Yes. How so? Um, well, <coughs> you know, you look back and you think, well, you know, you did that, and then you have... You me, I moved down here, did a 180, 360 flip. Well, the other person didn't get that choice. You know, she, she just quit doing it, but her people around her were still doing it. So she was kind of hard. And so, I, I mean, like, I would talk to her every day and tell her, you know, keep doing what you're doing. Just to worry, focus on you. Don't think to even try that stuff again or anything. One of the things we probably don't talk about enough is that using drugs and alcohol um, is not just a means of escape. It's fun. Yeah. How hard is it to fight that, <laughs> it even is, where you are today? It is very hard because, yes, I'll, ha I'm, I'll admit I have those rages where, oh, yeah, somebody invited me to a party. Oh, yeah, I want to go, but I'm not going to because I know the consequences. And do you think this is going to go on maybe for the rest of your life? Yeah, it's a non nonstop battle. How do you shield yourself each day? Just put faith in God and put it in his hands, and he will guide you through it. Very, very good. Is there anything else you'd like to add in closing, um, whether it's advice or maybe something from your own experience that you want people to know, um, just anything else that's been on your mind and your heart? If anybody is, sees this video and needs someone to talk to you, you're more than welcome to talk to me anytime. Awesome. Thanks so much, Shelby. You're welcome.